back to the Mad Spideyverse. I'm Mad Spidey, and this is my channel. Uh, just for today, I thought I'd do a uh, few recent pickups of some uh, new books that I've uh, I picked up on the weekend. Um, as some people would know, people have watched the channel, previous episodes, things like that. Um, I generally don't pick up books, you know, for a couple of weeks. I'm not a uh, every every week sort of person. Um, quite often, you know, work and personal stuff gets in the way. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I haven't been posting um, many videos in the last couple of weeks. I just haven't been in the right mindset for, for doing videos, but um, this week I'm definitely going to try and make an effort. I do have uh, quite a few videos and some bits and pieces that I want to go through, So, um, but thank you for, for tuning into this one anyway. So let's get started with just the, uh, the basic sort of stuff. Um, but before I do that, um, in honour of the technically last book in the, uh, the Venom series, as you can see, I have my Venom hat, my Venom shirt on, and you will find out why in a couple of minutes. So anyway, I'll get, I'll get to the, uh, the normal books first. So, we have, get to them. So we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 69. Just cover A, nothing, nothing too special, I think. Yep, just cover A. Very dynamic cover or cover A. Always good. Uh, the new Silk, which is number four. Another gorgeous, gorgeous cover. As I said in a previous video, I'm really loving these silk covers lately. There's that. Um, I'm not really much of a sci-fi guy, especially, you know, I like watching sci-fi movies and things like that, but a um, good friend of uh, us Australian collectors over here is Ken Lashley. I generally, if I see a book that he's done the cover for, I generally try and pick it up. And so I grabbed, what is it, Alien? Number four, variant, done by my good boy, Ken Lashley. Well, I definitely uh, just picked that up, you know, just supporting one of my favorite artists. Uh, the next non-stop Spider-Man, which is number three. Have a very dynamic sort of cover there. Very nice, nice looking. Uh, the other thing is they released a new Web of Spider-Man. I don't know which volume this is. Obviously, they haven't done too many volumes of Web of Spider-Man, but there is uh, a new Web of Spider-Man, number one. A bit more cartoonish sort of looking. And apparently, it has the the kid from Iron Man 3 movie. I think it's Harley, Harley Breener or something like that, I think his name is. Let me have a look. So it's classified as a, a first appearance, I suppose. Uh, Harley Keener is apparently the kid from Iron Man 3 when uh, Tony Stark obviously crashes and you know he get, ends up in that that shed. So I thought I'd grab that. And of course, whoever Spider Man number two's come out as well. So I grabbed that as well. Now to obviously Venom number 35 the so called final issue uh, of Venom I won't give anything away or anything like that but I did go just just a little nuts on them and they're a thick book like they're almost like a small trade um, I did say to the comic shop which is Big City Comics uh, here in Melbourne I did say to them uh, whatever, co whatever covers you get um, that you have spare that are not already, you know, obviously pre-sold for people's pull lists and things like that. Whatever covers you get, you know, just chuck them in my uh, in my pile and I'll just grab them. Thinking I might get maybe one or two, maybe five at the most. I think I ended up getting something like 10 or 12 and they are a more expensive book over here because of the, the thickness of them. I think they ended up being almost $20 a book, but I suppose for a landmark sort of issue, I decided to go for it anyway. So, first one up, one of the variants, 
Apparently there's about 24, 25 variants, something like that. This is done by a guy named, now I might screw up his name a bit, but it's Jeffrey Vereggi, I think it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, it's very sort of simplistic, sort of artistic sort of style. Very nice looking. Uh, next one is an artist named Nick Klein. One of that sort of newer, or newer to me, should I say, newer up and coming, but I really like that. It's very sort of 90s, sort of, you know, really extra muscly sort of look, sort of cover. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Uh, apparently one of the more sought after covers is the cover by Jock. It's almost a bit uh, Sinkovich sort of style, but uh, that's Jock style as well. That sort of very, you know, brush sort of look, but I thought that was pretty cool. I like some more than others, but I decided I'm not really much, I've said it before, I'm not really much of a variant guy, but I decided, ah, bugger it, let's just, just grab, grab what I can uh, grab, I suppose. Now, I'm not, I'm not really too fussed whether I get any more of them or not. If I get them at a good price or whichever, I'll grab them, but if not, I'm not uh, too fussed. Apparently, this is one of the more sought after ones. I'm not sure whether that actually classify this as one particular artist because there's so many images in there. I would assume that it's probably just a compilation of, you know, all different artists all in one book, but apparently this was one of the more sought after sort of covers. So I was glad to get that one. And then we got, you probably recognize the style, Humboto Ramos. I've always liked his, his art. Got a very quirky sort of style. Very, uh, very cool looking cover there by Mr. Ramos. Uh, now I think Ryan Stegman, because he obviously did most of the, the later series, you know, with Donny Cates as the writer. Um, I think he might have done two covers. I think I have both. I don't know. He might have done more, but this is Ryan Stegman's variant cover. Very, very nice. He does do a a wicked looking venom. So, there's that one there. And we all know we've all fell in love with the uh, Patrick Gleason ones at the moment. Obviously they did some for Amazing Spider-Man and they did a few different, the different printings of those in different colors and things like that. And he's done a few, I think, he, I think I said a man thing one as well. So he's done a, a few of this sort of style. I don't know whether I love this one as much as the Spidey one, but it still still looks very cool. So there's the uh, Patrick Gleason one. Uh, another new, sort of newer to me, should I say. I'm not going to call people new because they might have been around the industry for 20 years for all I know, but Kyle Hotz is a sort of name I've only known for probably about the last 12, maybe two years. Very, very cool looking cover. And as you can see, they are very, very thick. So they're basically like a thin, thin tray. Yeah. One of my favorite Italian artists. Now, people sort of pronounce his name a few different ways, but uh, I've actually heard himself say Simone Bianchi. And that's very wicked. Very cool. There's that one there. And one of my all time favorite Spidey artists, Mark Bagley. Always gonna love it. Anything to do with Spider-Man and Mark Bagley, love it. Definitely one of my all time greats in the Spideys. And I, I would put him, like a lot of people were gonna bag me and say, you know, what about Ditko? What about Ramita? You know, what about like, you know, big names like that? Yes, I do love them all. Um, 
some artists I do like better than others, but Mark Bagley was when I grow up, you know, the amazing Spider-Man run that he did. I absolutely love the art. So that's the Bagley cover. Another one of my favorite artists and all time awesome guy, Art Adams. Arthur Adams, Art Adams, whichever way you, you prefer to say his name. But yeah, I always love, uh, always love Art Adams stuff. Always very cool. And last but not least, that's the normal cover A, Ryan Stegman cover. Very cool, sitting there on the throne with his big ass red sword there. Very nice. So you can see, I went a little bit nuts with Venoms. So there's 24, 25, I ended up with almost half of them. So I'm, I'm happy with that anyway. But anyway, that's it for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Now, please, if you haven't already, can you please hit that subscribe button down below? If you'd be, you know, extra kind, give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Spidey, out.